I'll hear from the member for Hawke. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister for Health. Why is it so important that the Albanese Labor government delivers cost of living relief for millions of Australians through cheaper medicines? What obstacles are there in delivering this relief? Oh. Give the call to the member, to the Minister for Health. Uh, thank you, Speaker. And I thank the member for Hawke, part of this terrifically talented new generation that was elected to the Labor benches at the last election. Uh, he, along with all of those Order. members, promised Australians cheaper medicines at the last election, Mr Speaker. And in just 12 months, we've already delivered three waves of cheaper medicines reform that will save Australian patients hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars. But we know there is more to do, Mr Speaker, and that's why we accepted the advice of the medicines experts who manage the PBS to allow doctors to issue 60-day prescriptions for common medicines for ongoing health conditions at the price of a 30-day script, halving the cost of these ongoing medicines for 6 million Australian patients, Mr Speaker. It's not only good for their hip pocket, it's also good for their health because we know from overseas evidence it will improve medication compliance and it will free up millions of GP consults that are so desperately needed out there in the community. So good for the cost of living and good for health. That's why so many other countries to which we would usually compare ourselves already do this, already allow 60 or even 90 day scripts, Mr Speaker. And that's why we've received such strong support for this measure from every single patient group and every doctor's group in the country. But I'm asked about obstacles, Mr Speaker. And the first thing to say about that is, as the Prime Minister just said, this is not new advice. This same advice was delivered by the same experts to the former government five years ago, and they did nothing. They chose to support the pharmacy lobby over the interest of patients. And as a result, those patients have Order. shelled out hundreds and Member hundreds of millions of dollars in fees that they didn't have to pay. Now, you can say a lot of things about those opposite, Mr Speaker, but at least they're consistent, because yesterday they lodged a motion to block access for cheaper medicines to six million patients yet again, once again, backing the lobby over the interests of patients. Exactly, frankly, what you would expect from a party led by a man who was Health Minister tried to jack up the price of medicines by $5 a script. Well, Mr Speaker, we know how important cheaper medicines are at a time of a global cost of living shock for millions and millions of patients. So we know how important it is to free up the health system after the pressures of three years of pandemic. And whatever the coalition and One Nation try to do over in the Senate, Mr Speaker, we are determined, with or without the coalition's support, to deliver cheaper medicines to Australian patients. Yeah. 